Marvin! Shaw, Shaw, I'm sorry. Ow! You Ow! useless Ow! little engine. Ow! Ow! Listen to me. You're gonna get back out there and shunt until I get all the money you owe me. <sighs> well, I can't now. You're fucking up my buffers. <laughs> so. But you said. We'll do a quick change and put some block buffers on you. They're here for their trains, not your face. Stop! Stop! How many times are you going to fuck up before you learn your fucking place? Oh, shit. Oh, baby. Uh, sure, sure. I didn't mean to. I swear I didn't mean to. Oh, oh, that's a shame. No, 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 please, please. There's no please anymore, baby. I've been so patient with you and your excessive bullshit. Off you bitches for doing the tenth of the shit you pulled. I am done. I own you. And I say shunt. You say yes, sure. And I say pull a good strain. You say, yes, sure. That's the way it's always been. And that's all you're gonna know from now on. Shall we get started? Oh, no, 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 Shaw. Shaw, Shaw, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to hit you like that. I'll shut. <laughs> I'll pull trades. I'll do whatever you want. I'll do whatever shit you want. Shaw, please don't do this, Shaw. Shaw, Shaw. Please, Shaw. Shaw. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Excuse me, but you mind running that by me again, please? The Rory Board has spoken, Shaw Seville, but it's your turn to be withdrawn. With all due respect, sir, I believe the Railway Board is wrong with that information. No, Shaw, they're not. They're specifically asking you to be removed from service. But what? I'm a merchant navy, the prod of the Southern's Express. I can do twice the work than any engine in this very yard. Look, two of your brothers have been withdrawn back in February of this year. Union Castle and Runner Dam Lloyd. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Being the third of Mark on to be taken out of service and left to rust in a siding? <sighs> Sir, these sheds are our home, and we are all family here. Can't we just stay at Nine Elms for a few more years? The sheds cannot be saved, Shaw. Once everyone has left, they will be knocked down in 1967. And where am I supposed to go after that? Where steam engines are normally taken. I'm sorry, but it can't be changed. <laughs> Not now, Maria, baby. Just make yourself useful and grab a crane, thank you. Go! So, um, what's going to happen now? We'll see, Marvin, baby. Yeah, well, it's not like it could camp here for a couple of years. Engines just as old as you are being withdrawn, and- Marble cake. Shut your trap before I shut it for you. Oh. Yes, sure. I'm going to have some company soon. Why don't you run along and collect whatever train there is, Marble Cake? But sure, you know I'm withdrawn. I'm not really allowed to be out here. Marble. I. Do. Not. Fucking. Care! Just go! It's a ghost town around here. Where has everybody gone? It's nothing for you to worry about, Jazzy. Do you have the goods? You know I do, Shaw. But you have been running low on payment for the last few months. And this stuff isn't cheap, you know. Oh, come now. You know I'm good for it. It's just been a bit rough lately with how things have been. You should know that more than anyone, Jasper. Yes, I know that. But I still need payment. Proper payment, Shaw. Look, I can't pay you fully right now, Jazzy baby. 
but I can't later on. I just need to find myself a new shed, a new yard, and a new flea vengeance to work for me. Eesh, that's a very tall order, babe. <sighs> Look, Shaw, I've been thinking. For the longest time, we've been business partners, and because of that, we grew into this relationship we have now. But with how things are now for British Rails, I need to take some of my business inland and sell my stuff to other clients. I haven't seen them in a long time, and they will pay handsomely to get their buffers on things like this. I think my old client, Douglas, is still waiting for- Oh, and you wish to make more money rather than help me out? What? No, sure, let me explain. Oh, I may have lost everything, but that doesn't mean I'm going to sit here and be put into the pile. Not of a plan. Me, you, Maria, and Marvin. And all four of us are leaving and starting a new life together. Regrow what I'm known for as well as sell your stuff across the railway. Hire my clients and return better and stronger than before. But my stuff? Sure, I've worked hard for the last 20 years gaining enough supplies and smuggling them across the country all by myself. Oh? And you're just going to leave me and Maria whilst you become rich beyond your wildest dreams? For fuck's sake, Shaw! Are you even listening? It's not that fucking hard, you know? No! You shut the fuck up and listen, Jasper! This is ridiculous! I don't even know what we're fighting over! Are you kidding me? You spent a whole week bitching about how busy I was! I didn't bitch about shit! SHUT UP! I made time for you! I even rescheduled a damn business meeting for it! But I ended up waiting two hours and got underpaid when you didn't show like an idiot! Where the hell were you? That's it! I forgot about paying you full! Big deal! So what? It ain't like you haven't waited before! So cut the fucking drama! You still have the nerve. No, I said. You better cut it out now, before you really piss me off. Really? Oh, are you done with this shit, Jazzy? Yeah, I'm done. And you know what? To hell with that! It was such a waste of my time. My time wasted! But I should be used to that, shouldn't I, Shaw? Don't you think so? Because that's what it means to be with you. A fucking waste of time. And after all these years of being your waste of time, how could I forget that? I'll just keep that in mind from now on, so we can avoid this palaver. You! Fuck off, you piece of shit! I'm fucking done with you! It's over! You fucking hear me! Worthless bitch! Fuck you! Get the hell out of here. I... Uh, I... Uh, uh, I... I didn't... Sure. Leave! Well, fuck you too! As if I care! <sighs> Listen, Shaw, sure. what I said. What? Expecting me to run you off the rails again? Forget it. I'm gonna repeat myself, Jasper. I'm done with you. Just fuck off. Morning, Eliza. Been busy working? <sighs> yeah, just busy. Is something troubling you, dear? You don't seem to be your cheery self. <sighs> it's, it's nothing much, Meryl. It's silly. Oh, come now. You can tell me what's troubling your mind, dear. <sighs> well, it's... <sighs> See, all I seem to do is push these trucks and coaches around arranging them. As soon as I finish one train and keep the yards nice and tidy, another train comes in and messes up the place and then I have to rearrange everything again! Oh, I'm sorry, Eliza, but I'm afraid that's what happens in busy yards. At least we have the best shunter on the whole Great Western. Being you. Uh, thanks, Meryl, but I... I don't know. I just wish for a slight change so I don't do the same things every day, you know? Like... At least, pull some trains to nearby stations. Or, I even couple behind your express and you can show me the world outside of the yard. 
Oh, no, 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 dear. I don't think the railway will allow that to happen. But if you're good, I may ask Mr. Stevens if he can give you some small trains to pull. Really, Meryl? But don't get too over your head, my dear. The world is a dangerous place out there. They're full of diesels, and he might say no. Oh, uh, okay. But I'll work as hard as I can and show him that I can pull trains. Oh, dear. Right, where should we go now? Oh, right, um, let's see, um, well, we could either go down from where I'm from, the LMS, or if you're willing to lead, we could go down your part of the woods through the LNER. Well, uh, I can't be too sure either. Perhaps you could pick a way, as you started this little runaway. Yes, for sure, you're right. What kind of leader wouldn't know the which way to go next? <laughs> um... Perhaps we could... Oh, I don't know. All right, all right, easy now. Let's perhaps weigh our options on what seems better. Excuse me, but are you two all right? Oh, yes, we're perfectly fine, thank you. Well, perhaps no, we're not. We're not too sure which way we should go. Well, that depends on where you're heading to. That's uh, sort of the problem. We're really runaways and we really need to find a place to ride out. Oh, I see. I don't really think I can help much on that front, I'm afraid. I wouldn't know a place big enough to hide you both. Oh dear. Well, thanks anyway. Um, sorry, we forgot to introduce ourselves. I am Duchess of Love, bro. And my name is Ryan. Pleasure meeting you both. I'm sorry, but I don't have a name. Not many of my brothers and sisters have names, for those are for the bigger express engines, so I'm just called 65. Oh, I'm sorry, my dear engine. Well, 65, if you like, why not come with us? We could try and find a safe place together. You mean leave my post and disobey British Rails? I don't know. That sounds super risky. Maybe so, but me and Duchess have both been withdrawn. And if it wasn't for her finding me at Doncaster, I would have been left to rust. Plus, how long do you think it'll be until British Railways withdraw you? They'll catch up to the newest steam engines and remove them. They always do. You aren't wrong, really. Five of my siblings have been withdrawn already. I suppose it wouldn't hurt less if I chose my own fate rather than British Rails. All right, that's the spirit. Looks like you're forming a little team now, Duchess. Yes, it would seem so. Well, in that case, Ryan, how would you feel about adventuring down the LMS? Oh, oh that would be fun. I've been around the Midlands a lot. So I can try and be a guide of sorts. Not that you really need me to be, for you would know it more than I would, Duchess. <laughs> that may be true, but these rails have changed from when I was first built, so I'd rather have a professional show me the way. Very well then. Follow me to Derby. Answer me this. What is it about Phase 6s? Hmm? Why this tedious tendency to rebel? Take this diesel. He was given the role to shunt old rusty steam engines and put them in line next to be scrapped. Until that is, he accepted to spare a few engines from scrap in order to give them a second chance. And now he's... Eh, uh, Roderick, I think he's still alive. You know what, Coyle? I do believe you're right. When he stopped sobbing and begging for his life, I assumed, well, I assumed that was that. Western, pull him out of the wreck and release him. What was that? That, Levi, is the saddest sound of all. The sound of a diesel's motor grinding to a halt. But don't worry, 
I'll say my final words to him. Levi is a friend of mine. He's been by my side ever since we found him outside of the works of the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway. <coughs> Just get it over with. Hmm. I don't think you quite appreciate how this works. Our job is to hunt down any Diesels who, by their actions or inactions, have frustrated the realization of Diesel 10's goals and introduce them to a world of unremitting pain. Now given you were only partially smashed by Goyle and partially crushed by Whistler, I'd have thought this was obvious. But take heart, if word of your preposterously gruesome demise reaches just one hesitant Diesel and terrifies them into staying the course, then all the pain you suffered would have been well worth it. But the steamies deserve- But the steamies deserve what? To be alive and work alongside Diesels? <laughs> oh, little Diesel. That's sweet, but steamies and Diesels won't get along until Diesel 10 says so and he'll say nothing until he presides over a society so peaceful that the very notion of conflict is literally inconceivable. As he writes towards his peace, my weapon is my burden, a reminder of the path I was forced to take. When the word weapon is emptied of meaning, when the purpose of a weapon is impossible to grasp, when the rejections of my weapon is of significance to no one other than myself, only then shall I remove it from me, because only then will I have earned the right to rid myself of my burden. I could go on, but here's the thing. With this claw, forged crafted by Diesel 10 himself, this claw isn't for show, nor threats and intimidation. It is to deliver a quick and painless death. Quicker than falling asleep and painless than the cutter's torch. That's what he says. What do you say? I'm so... so sorry. Bored now. Who's next on the list? Some random diesel shunter named Mavis, I believe. That's all very well, Levi. But we got to find her first. Goyle? Keep asking the locals if they have seen a Class 04 diesel around here. In the meantime, our next targets will be puffing down south. What did they do? What did they do? They lived, Levi. They lived. So, what's the plan, Shaw? Oh, I'm thinking it over, baby cakes. Well, you might as well say what you got so far. I'm bored out of my mind, sitting in these yards, not knowing what's going on. Mm. All right, all right, doll. It was supposed to be us four leaving. Now it's down to three. We would need to get far away from London and start somewhere new. Oh, a road trip. Sounds fun. Where to? Hmm. I had some ideas. Doncaster, crew. Bridlington, somewhere out of reach and will be closed down. At least we don't have much to pack, considering everyone took the good shit away to be scrapped. We'll see. Marvin should have been back by now, and we can see what he brought back with him. You think he tried to run away, like he has before? And where do you think he'll go? He knows that he can easily get snatched up and I'm the only one who can protect him from the dangers out there. Ah, marble cake. You almost had me worried. I see you didn't return with a train behind you. <sighs> Waste of time, really. Some stuck-up diesel just took it and didn't even say thank you. Aw, boo-hoo! <laughs> well then, Marvin, I need you to find as much rolling stock as you can in these yards and put them in a line. You're going to be leaving these sheds, and we'll need as much as we can take. Yeah, about that, Shaw. I don't think I'll be able to. <laughs> oh, and why not? Because, Honeycakes, I've been bought and no longer owned by you anymore. Ha 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 
<laughs> marble, marble, marble. Don't bullshit me. You know there is nothing you can do to get you out of my contract. I own you. Not anymore. I know all about your contracts, Shaw Seville. All these poor engines you had working for you is quite sickening. For the last 10 years, I've been trying to rope some of these engines out of your contracts and save every single one of them. Call you a hypocrite, but who are you to tell me these rights? Men like you in the higher office have used engines like us as nothing but slaves for centuries. Those meanings are for a different matter, Shaw. What British Railways doesn't do is get involved with all these illegal deals and partnerships. And these are just a few of the things that should lead you straight into Railgate prison. But, perhaps being put into the scrapyard would be enough for you to think about what you have done. Let's go Marvin, I know some people who can look after you. Well, I would say it's been fun Shaw, but it really hasn't. And Maria, good luck finding a guy. So fuck you, and fuck you too. Oh, and Sean, those glasses make you look stupid as fuck. Ciao! Well, I guess it's the two of us now. Tonight. We leave tonight. Get whatever isn't broken and meet me in these yards. Right, Shaw. You have got to be kidding me! Is that it? Well, we would have had more to take if you didn't smash those vans up like a big dumb baby! Say any more and I'll be leaving you behind. <sighs> Fine. God, you're no fun sometimes. Just shut your mouth. Can't afford you making all that noise behind me all the way. Oh, so, where are we going? Yeah, I'm gonna need to get a lot more free if I'm going to start over in our new home. So we'll be taking a quick trip down to Eastleigh first to gather up what we can take. Oh, goodbye, home. Um, I hate to be the one who says this, but I think we're lost. Well, we do appear to be at a place called Brentford, wherever this place is. I'm afraid I can't say. None of the stations we've passed looks familiar to me. Perhaps it would be best to go back to a place we recognised. That may be a better idea, 65. Let's start going back before we get seen. Oh, wait, wait! Do you guys hear that? That... sounds like a steam engine. Wait, if it is, uh, they might be able to tell us where we are. Okay, but be careful. They may tell someone about us and we'll be in deep trouble. Oh, well, well, well. What do we have here? Huh? What's going on? I can't see over your fat tender. It looks like we're not the only ones leaving our home for salvation. Um, g good evening. I am Duchess of Loveborough, and these two are Ryan and 65. Who may you two be, if I may ask? A Duchess? Hmm. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Shaw Seville, and this is my little friend Maria. Huh. They don't look like much, Shaw. Lush now, Maria baby. It's not every day we see a nor'easter, a midi, or a standard in the southern. So that's where we are! We're in southern railway territory! I think we're a bit stuck on that moment. Well, thank you for helping us, Shaw, Seville and Maria. But we'd best get going before dawn approaches, and we're all spotted. Hold up, you three. What if... I was able to help you out? Um... Okay, but how though? Me and my poor Maria had to leave our home. We both have been withdrawn from service, and we're both travelling down to Eastleigh to pick up some supplies that could help us. So, if you like, I could escort all five of us and get down there before sunrise. Well, it does sound like a good offer. What do you two think? Hmm, I mean, it is tempting, but we don't mean to improve on your business. Oh no, it's fine. We can just leave you guys here to defend for yourselves. I think it'd be best if we joined them, Loughborough. I mean, we'll be able to defend ourselves in a bigger group. Oh, okay, okay. We may need to turn around on the first junction we see. I know there's a turntable in one of these old stations. 
Why don't you three reverse back? Me and Maria will catch up shortly. All right then. Come along, you two. Thank you, Shaw. Oh, I know that look. What are you thinking, Shaw? Oh, I'm thinking we just met our first three clients to restart my business. And all we need to do is gain their trust and they'll do anything I'll tell them. <laughs> well, they better be more obedient than Marvin was. Marvin had a little too much freedom, formerly working on the Southeastern and Chatham Railway before meeting us. But these three are terrified of what the world has become around them, and they'll look towards me for guidance in these dark times. We are right, and just in time soon, the sun's starting to rise. That means we should hide somewhere before anyone wakes up. We'll hide in the yards of the works. Wouldn't they find us in there? <laughs> it's not like they're making any new steam engines anymore. We'll use the end sidings to remain out of sight. Oh dear, this is quite unsettling. Well, at least we'll be camouflaged and look like scrap engines if a diesel does come by. Perhaps. We should find an old shed to sleep in. We should rest up if we're going to leave tomorrow night. We can sleep a little later. We should first look all over these yards and see if there's anything that we could take along for our next journey. And where exactly are we going to? Someone's coming! We have to hide! Fair! We can hide in that shed! Everyone catch them, should I? Looks like we won't be moving for a little while. But what if that diesel finds us and moves each one of us to be cut up in our sleep? We should find more a secure place to sleep. Shh. You fluster yourself too much, Duchess. We've had a long day, Duchess. You'll feel better after a good night's sleep. Okay. Okay. I just want us to be safe is all. So... So what, Eliza dear? You know, if I'm able to pull small trains outside of Oxford, it did caught. Oh, yes, uh, right. I, um, I forgot about asking Mr. Stevens. Sorry, Eliza. Y you know how busy an express engine is, always focusing on her passengers and all. Oh, well, uh, that's okay. Would it be okay to ask him sometime later today, please? I can remind you first thing I see you again if you'd like. Um, y yes, sure. The next time you see me, you'll remind me if I forget again. <laughs> Thank you, Meryl! Speaking of forgetting things, you know what you've forgotten? Oh, right, yes, of course, y your coaches! Sorry, Meryl! Thank you, Eliza. See you later. Bye! I'll remind you when I see you! Rise and shine, everyone! I know it's been a long night trying to hunt down those steam engines, but we mustn't give up now. Uh, we searched every station and every yard between here and Doncaster. Where are we going now? I'm not sure, Loyal, but if I was a steam engine, I would continue heading down with the illusion that no one will find me deep down in the country. So we continue heading south until we reach London. After that, we can talk to the head office and ask if they heard any news of a rogue LMS coronation and an LNER M2. Hey, Rogic, come and look at this. Seems to me these two engines have formed a little team to run away with. Meaning more engines to be scrapped. We don't scrap anymore, Gore. 
British Rail's ordered us to detain the steam engines and bring them back to their respectable scrapyards to be cut up. But that diesel shunter... He was a traitor to the diesel cores. He was the one who started this little charade by allowing those two engines to run away. And I'll tell you, he paid with his life. Very well said, Levi. That's why we have to capture these steamers before they start a revolution. Doing up. Meh, I had my six hours and I'm wide awake for now. Say, you want to explore the yards? What? Isn't that risky? What if we get spotted? All right then, guess I'm leaving you. <laughs> wait, Maria, wait! Maria, come back! Maria! Maria! We have to keep quiet and stay hidden. Uh, uh, hi there. Um, uh, I don't suppose you've seen a dog red tank engine come by here? She went that way. Towards the main sheds. Uh, uh thank you, uh, mister. Maria! Oh, there you are. Come on, we should get back to the others. Ooh, what do you think's in there? Uh, I don't know. Well, trucks, vans, but perhaps some diesels are sleeping in there, but, but, but look, we've got to go back now! Ooh, I like the idea of trucks and vans. Yay! Oh, for the love of... Maria, we don't have time for this! Oh! <laughs> Scaredy engine. Oi, don't go running off like that! We have to be careful in these yards! Oh, pa! My friend Jasper used to tell me he used to hide trucks full of stuff scattered around the SR. I bet we can find some shit here. Don't go running off into the darkness like that! Oh! Ooh, something you like, huh? Um, what wh wh what do you mean by that? <laughs> it's pretty nice and snug in these sheds. You know, just us two. Um, you might want to make that free. What are we screaming about? Oh, 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 it's another engine. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh you scared the living steam out of me. Oh my, well I'm terribly sorry. It's been days since a steam engine has actually came to see me. Um, who are you even? Oh, where are my manners? Uh, they call me, uh, Sepedius. Oh, well, that sounds medieval. I'm Ryan, and this is Maria. Well, it's nice to meet you two, and, uh, yes, I suppose it was. There was uh, a thing to us King Arthur classes. Uh, there was uh, Sir Gillimere, the one with the uh, funny funnels. Uh, Lancelot, Galahad, Excalibur, King Arthur, Merlin. Sounds like someone was a bit too much of a fan of the medieval period. Sir Pallius, are you alright? I heard screaming and came over as quick as I could. Oh, hello there. I didn't expect Pallius to have any company. Ryan, Maria, this is my friend Ben. He helped me keep me hidden and safe when I was withdrawn in 1959. Hi! Greetings, you two. I've never seen engines like you around these parts. Well, I'm from the Alienar and Maria's from the GWR. We've been trying to get someplace safe far away from being caught and being taken for scrap. Oh, well, I could try and help you guys in any way I can. Hmm, I think we'd better show you guys something. Um, guys, uh, I think there's something you all need to see. Oh, good morning, everyone. <laughs> Quite a party we have here, don't we? This is Sir Pelius. He's been hiding here for about five years, thanks to Ben. And who is Ben? Uh, well, um, I pr promise you won't panic, but, um, uh... Hello there. Ah! Oh, goodness me! Relax, relax. This is Ben, a friendly diesel. So, Shaw, no need to go ape shit like you did with that tender engine back at our old sheds. <clears throat> nice to meet you. So, you won't tell anyone about us? Of course not. It's been pretty hard trying to shunt these old steam engines and sidings only to be scrapped. They deserve to live like me, you know? We may be made of different parts, but we're all the same, really. I get what you mean. So, um, uh, Ryan was talking about that you guys were right, planning to run away. Um, if I may ask, uh, where are you off to next? You best ask Sean Seville. He's, a uh, leader of the group. Well, I've been thinking of some options. But I think our best shot will be a crew. 
That's where I was built. And that's why. The best and biggest place where we can be safe. Together. I don't suppose, but if it's not a problem, of course. But would it be alright if I joined them too, please? I know it may be a dead weight being an old engine and possibly being built into a bridge soon, but if you can't take me, uh, I understand. Well, of course you could come with us. The more engines we could save, the better, right? Although, if we're going to make that sprint, we're going to need a lot of coal and water before we go. That's no problem. Go outside and get fresh coal delivered this morning. As for water, I think there's still an old water tower by the work shed. You don't need to worry about anyone seeing you. Nothing is being worked on inside there. Thank you, Bane. Now, if you would be so kind, perhaps you could watch out for us, and if anyone enters the yard, tell us about it immediately. I'll do my best. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to come along with your engines. It's nothing. The least we can do for a fellow steam engine. Now you engines stay here. I'm going to get cold and water first. The more the merrier, huh? Yes, indeed, it's all. Now tell me, did you find anything worth taking? <sighs> no, it's just useless scrap and empty vans. You think Jasper would have at least given a clue to where he stores his crap? Forget about Jasper. Just look for whatever you can in these yards. Even if it's one thing, at least it'll make a bargain. Okie dokie, Shaw. You're joking, right, doll? Well, these were the only good-looking things in this whole yard, unless you want to leave empty-handed. Fine, fine. I suppose we can make the best out of a bad situation. Just take them back to the others and I'll be back shortly. Alrighty then. Right, I just finished the last goods train for tonight, so there shouldn't be anyone to come by for a while. Good, because we're about to make a move out of here as soon as possible, so I'll need you to keep an eye out for an open path. Sure, I can do that for you. Thank you, uh, Ben. I suppose I shall return an offer. How about you come with us? You seem like an engine who could help us out a lot. Though that is a tempting offer, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to say no. Sorry. I've still got lots of yard work I still need to do around here. But please take care of Sepelius when you get to crew. Suit yourself. Now, when you see an opening, toot your horn three times and we'll all be leaving. Um, right. Sure thing, Shaw. Sure. What's the plan, Shaw? Sure? Bane's out there keeping an R out for an open path for us. Once he gives out the signal of three toots of his own, then we'll all escape and be heading towards crew. Sounds like a good plan to me. Right, yes, well, should we at least wait here for a little while longer? I do believe this is rather risky running out of here. We could stay at these works until we fully thought of a plan and- Shut up already! We've already made up our mind! You'll be alright, Duchess. I'm sure you'll be safe when you're all home. At least we'll all be together in this. Alright, as long as you guys think so. Alright then, let's do this. Stay safe, all of you! Line? Who put these trucks here? Will someone please get me back on the rails? Oh 
Oh, dearie me. Hey, you, whoever's back there, stop! The tracks are blocked, and I'm derailed. Stop! Oh, oh shit. Oh, that hurt. Oh. Shaw, uh, are you okay? What happened? Oh, I'm all right, Maria baby. Just didn't see these trucks in my way. I did try to call you. Um, all of you. Where did all of you come from? The Great Western doesn't let engines like you use our rails as a demolition derby. Oh, so sorry, miss, uh, ma'am. We were just trying to get the crew. Well, I'll be surprised if you get there in one piece, if you can't keep a lookout to see where you're going. Quiet down. Do you want anyone to see us? Hurry up, go and see if you can find a crane. Well, yeah, I would, but I'm kind of sandwiched in, you know. We can try reversing back if that helps. But wouldn't that draw too much attention with all of us? Now hold on, we might have to... Maybe I might be of some assistance. And who are you? I'm Lucas, and I'm the one here to help get you all back on track, you could say. Ha! <laughs> Funny! Hmm, well thank you kindly, Lucas. Ah ah ah! Ladies first, you know. Oh, well, thank you. But after you get this poor sob back onto the rails again, all of you should get going right away. She's right. The longer we stay, the easier we'll be spotted. Oh, not to worry. We'll be gone before you know it. Um, do you have a name, miss? Well, yes I do. I'm Goodrich Castle. Or some of you refer to me as Meryl, please. It's lovely to meet you, Meryl. But may we speed this up, please, Lucas? Now, now, we'll get this over within a few minutes. Watch where you're swinging that thing. If you break my glasses, you're paying for them. Nah, let him off, Shaw. He looks like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> all righty ho. Just be over in a few... Oi, oi, oi! What's all this then? Hey, steam engines are making a run for it! Oh, shit! Oh, dear. Oh, we're fucked. All right, both you blue engines. Come with us if you want to leave. Sure, why not? What? I don't want any part of what you lot are up to! <sighs> Duchess, couple up to her and bring her with us. Sure, she said she didn't want to. Ah, fuck this! Ah! Unhand me, you brute! Come on! We've been trying to find those bloody steam engines, and now we're waiting for head office to see if they caught any sight of them. Yeah, quit your whining. Don't like it's helping the situation. I'm just saying, this is what we do. We go on an endless cruise to find them steam engines, and then what? We don't even get to scrap them. We just drag the useless pieces of frames and rust back to the works, and we do it all over again. Whistler, don't you miss the old days we got to scrap any steamies we wanted? Yeah. It's not like I'm happy about it either, but we've been given strict instructions from British Railways not to scrap them. Bah! The way I see it, Roderick has become soft on us, not wanting to disobey BR's rules in case he got punished and they take his claw away. Listen to me, Goyle, and listen to me good. Ah, get off! Don't ever let me hear you step out of line again! I tolerate a lot of the crap that you pull torturing those steam engines even though British Rails have ordered us to deliver them back unharmed. You work for me under Diesel 10's word. We follow orders till the day he returns to us. Until then, you do as I say when I say it. <sighs> Fine. Roderick! Roderick! I've just got some information about those rogue engines from head office. Yes. What is it then, West? They came a call that about seven or eight steam engines have been spotted at Oxford and are currently heading west as we speak. Right. Wrap up those engines, everyone. We're going after them. Stop! Stop! Let go of me this instant! Chill out, lady. We're all going someplace where we can all be safe. Safe? You all just kidnapped me. Shut it, love. 
How's everyone else, you two? They're about a mile behind us. What? Hey, wait up! I don't know why you want to bring all this stuff with us. It's all pretty useless, apart from you, Sir Pelius. That's fine. I mean, I would help, but I've broken down, you know? Sure, we should stop for a few minutes. At least get us all organized on whatever we're carrying. <sighs> fine. Well, you stay here while I have a little browse around these yards. Now, wait, hold on. Why don't you just stay back here and help us out? All these coaches and trucks were your idea to bring them along with us. I mean, she is right. It's only fair if you put your own weight, sure. What was that, you two? Well, who do you think is leading everyone to crew, hmm? Uh, well, I think Dodgers can know the way to get the crew now. I mean, she is LMS after all, so she might have a lead. You can shark back there. You're lucky that we haven't dropped you off for being dead weight. Hey, we wouldn't leave any engine behind. Oh, really? Not even if the rest of you are in trouble? If we go down, at least we'll be together. Well, speak for yourself, mate. I wouldn't be staying long. Well, we can see where your loyalty lies. We go wherever I say we fucking go. I don't care about any one of you. If you fall behind, it's your own problem. I'm the one who started this group, and all you shall be working for me. Working for you? I'm no slave to be pushed about. None of us are. I think we should leave these engines, Duchess. Let them go on while we find a new place to be safe. No one is going anywhere. It would be best if you all listened to Shaw. No, I don't think so. I'd rather they be safe for Scrapper than listen to you anymore, Sean. Mm, that can be arranged. Back off, Sean. Well, well. The Duchess finally does something. Women used to be so obedient back then. We are leaving, Sean. You can continue with Maria and Lucas to crew, but the rest of us are not going to be ordered about by the likes of you. Oh no, no one shall be leaving me. <laughs> Duchess! Sean! Wait up! Oh, I don't think so. Meryl, Castle, we need your help! S stop it! Stop it, all of you! <laughs> Big mistake. There they are! Come on, Pelius! Which way do we go? Take the center truck! It's a dead end! Oh no, oh no! We're all going to be scrapped! No! Not like this! Shut up! Ah! What's going on? Let go of me! Sure, what are you doing? Shop! All right, you diesels, listen up. We have this diesel as a hostage here. And unless you want to see him reduced to a tin can, I suggest you back the fuck up. Everyone stand down! Sure, what are you doing? Let him go! He's done nothing wrong to us! We let this diesel go and we'll be dead. Maria, take him to the back. Get off of me, you psycho! You might as well give up now and not make this any worse, steamers. We have you completely surrounded, and we're willing to wait all night long. Then you might as well send trucks in to take away what's left of that diesel when we're done with him. They're not seriously going to kill that Class O1, are they? I highly doubt they would, as it's their only means to stop us from taking them all down one by one. We should attack him as soon as possible! We'll wait it out. They're stuck in those sightings and have nowhere to go. And even if they plan on escaping, they would have to get through us first. This is insane! You can't do this to me! We're all going to be scrapped by those savages! Shut up, bitch! They're all going to be fine as long as we keep that diesel with us. Where did you put him, Maria? He's in the forest siding with a bunch of brake fans hard on to stop him from escaping. This is barbaric! 
Let him go at once, the both of you! And then what? Let those diesels take us all away to be put into a scrapyard? We're only in this mess because of you, Shaw! Why did you even leave us down here in the first place? Hey, I didn't know this was a siding area! Alright, shut up everyone! We're not going to be moving anywhere, so it's probably best to get comfortable and none of you try to set that diesel free. And that's where I saw those stinky steamers, all surrounded by smash trucks, and one was using a crane to try and help two of them who were derailed. Really? All this trouble just because some steam engines refuse to accept their fate? Ugh, you're telling me they could at least go down with some dignity and not cause such fuss about it. Ah, you'll want to talk, D199. You would more or less be begging not to be scrapped. I would not! I would know that it's my time to go. Something else Steamies can't seem to accept. I think it's been mentioned that the DJD are after them right now. The Diesel Justice Division? <sighs> D-502's maniac of a brother who is very loyal to Diesel 10? Those Diesels give me the creeps. For once, I agree with you. Well, I for one am going to see what's happening at Gloucester. See you then, D-812. Don't let any bowler has fall into your air intake! <laughs> oh, shut up! So, we're just sitting here until they make a move? Precisely. With that little diesel they have, we must get him out of harm's way before we capture the steam engines. I can't just storm in in case they do any harm to him. Can't we just, you know. Do what we normally do with diesels like him. That diesel is innocent in this, Whistler. He hasn't done anything against the diesel cause. Him being held hostage by a bunch of steamers isn't his fault. Ah, trying to count down the killing, huh? <laughs> you would do well remember to hold your tongue since our talk yesterday, Goyle. <laughs> Whatever. You guys stay here. I'm going to refuel. Don't know, Levi. I really don't know. To just be seen by my actions as nothing more than a ruthless killing machine. I don't kill without reason, and those three diesels should really know that of the Diesel Justice Division. We obey the orders sent out to us by Diesel 10 himself. And with his absence, we're lucky to continue our duties under the ownership of BR. You're very new to this, as it's only been a few months since you joined the team. But you seem to be the only one who respects what we are meant to do. Indeed. Ever since I had my terrible accident back on the S&D, everyone made fun of how I looked. But you were the one who showed kindness to me. The only one, really. For no diesel ever comes out of the works without some teething problems. <laughs> yes, indeed, my friend. Yes, indeed. Well, we can only do what we can do to teach the other three how we are meant to do things. Come on, best check they didn't start attacking without us. Naval Reserve? What may you be doing here? Evening, Roderick. So, this is the situation, huh? Eight steam engines cornered themselves into the sidings and took a Class O1 shunter as their hostage. There's no sign of aggression yet, and so we have to stand by until an opening comes. Only then shall we be able to return those engines to their respectable scrapyards and save that diesel. I know it's none of my business, but... Could you look the other way just this once? I mean, they're just scared and wish to leave. I'm afraid that is impossible to ask, me. We're under strict rules by British Rails to detain any steam engine that runs on the main line without clearance. Now please, 
If you're not here to help this situation, I suggest you stand aside. <sighs> All right. I'll stay to help you any way I can. You better. Otherwise, Roger could be using that claw on you, you know. Goyle! Tired, are you? Uh, what can I say? A long day of doing nothing. I feel you. Still, it's good to settle down too. Just not when we have a bunch of killer diesels watching us over there. But hey, it could be worse. <laughs> I suppose so. So, how did you meet Shaw Seville? Oh, I was first built by the Great Western as an experimental oil burner, but later on I was converted back to take coal again and became a shunter at Swindon Works. And when they decided they had enough of me causing them a bit of trouble here and there, I ran away and a few years later Shaw found me and offered me a new home at Nine Elms Shed. How about you? Not every day you see a midi wearing blue. I originally worked on the Caledonian Railway way up there in the north. But you could say I was quite a troublemaker as I soon left and have been causing trouble anywhere I go. I guess that explains the trucks at Oxford. <laughs> How's the diesel holding up, Dill? He's still sitting there sulking. Nothing else. So, what's the plan now then? Oh, I'm thinking it over. Want the both of you get some should I? But what about the others? It's not like they can do a whole lot, baby. Now rest those side eyes. You lot stay with our diesel, and I'll be right back. But where? It's not like it matters, Pedius. Maybe those diesels will take him away and be done with this game already. Guys, I'm sorry I got everyone roped up in this. I should have just stayed at crew and got turned into scrap. Hey, 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 Duchess, Duchess. It's okay, Duchess. It's not your fault. All of this happened because of Shaw, you know? You managed to save us all from a bad fate. And even if worse comes, I'm really glad to have met all you guys here. Friends outside of the LNR. He's right, you know. I at least have at least one last run, so to speak. <laughs> Getting to see as much of the railways is a good way to go out on my terms. Even though I was taken by that brute of an engine, it was quite nice meeting the rest of you engines. Um, excuse me? What do you want? Sorry, <clears throat> I'm Duchess of Loveborough. Do you have a name? Mm, I'm Simon. Why are you asking? Well, Simon, my little friend, I'm terribly sorry about the inconvenience of what happened. So, please, allow me to help you to get out of here. Huh? How will you do that? 65, could you please take those vans out of the siding, please, while I help Simon out of these brake vans? Sure thing, Duchess. Oh, are you alright, Meryl? Hmm? Oh, um, uh, Ryan, is it? Yes, I'm, I'm quite alright. Thank you. Are you scared about the scrapyard? Well, uh, that's only a little bit, Ryan. I, I just, I just wish I could see my darling Eliza again. Eh, uh, uh, e Eliza? Eliza, dear, but yes. She's my little tank engine friend down at Oxford. I've been trying to keep her safe from the dangers out there, and here I am myself stuck in these dangers. Oh, fair, fair. I'm sure everything will be all right. We'll find a way to get you back to Oxford, and, and you'll get to see Eliza again. Thank you, Ryan. You're too kind, but I'm not sure if that will be possible. Why? You there! The big blue one with the claw! I wish to speak with you. Could this be a trap? Perhaps an attack? Everyone stay here! Me and the steam engine are going to have a little chat. Greetings. Wouldn't by chance have a name I could call you. I've had many names, but today, today you could call me Roderick. Oh, I think I'll call you Lumpy. As you wish, Seville, it makes no odds. Either way, 
Your time, as they say, has come. You expect me to be surprised? Do you think anything surprises me anymore? After working as long as life as I've, you learn a few things to buy you some time. Your chances of surviving this are spectacularly negligible. You talk about odds and chances as if I can't control precisely how this plays out. Take a look at all the engines you've cornered. You'll find eight steam engines, including the ringleader herself. What are you proposing? An exchange. Their lives for mine and Maria's. It's a no deal for me. We do our jobs, no deviations. We hunt down any steam engine that breaks British Railways rules. And today, today is all about you. But that's, that's incredibly inefficient. You and I could be pretty good allies to one another. Shh. Now it's my turn to talk, and your turn to listen very carefully. Very carefully, indeed. Engines like you always try and strive out to prove that they are bigger and better than everyone else, and get stuck in your fantasy world where all things are perfect. You may have had something back then, Shaw, but you're stuck in the past. Back in those glory days of being the top of your kind among the smaller engines. I can only guess you were trying to lead that group of engines to crew, weren't you? Being the biggest place where you could rebuild your once famous club of sorts. Even if I wasn't on your tail and cornered you here, you would have met the Diesel who was 10 out of 10 for devious deeds and brutal strength. Diesel 10, the blast from the past who hates steam. What I'm supposed to do with you would be considered mercy compared to what my old boss would have done with you and your friends. Now I'm going to make it easy for you. Surrender yourselves and make this easier for all of us. You do not want us to do this the hard way. I'll give you about an hour. Otherwise, you'll be in much worse conditions than your glasses. What are you doing with this? I... I was just shunting these out of the way to make more room for us. <sighs> fine, fine. Whatever. Not like that would really make a difference. Uh, um, excuse me, Mr. Diesel? Yes, is there something you want? Uh, no, no, not at all. I just trying to help Simon. Um, hi. Well, well, this is quite a turn of events. You do understand that this little deed won't help you from being taken away to the scrapyards. Yes, I do understand that. I just wish for all of this to be over. We're all better getting off as far away from Sean as possible, and he won't let us go willingly. If you know what's best for you, Stand down and don't fight back. You'll only make things worse if you do. We'll target Shaw Seville, but after that, every single one of your group will come with us. Yes, thank you. They do seem like nice engines. Please don't be too hard on them. We'll see how this goes. As for you, stay in the shed while me and the others sort this out. How's the diesel? Boy, I asked about the diesel. Ugh, I have to do everything, don't I? What? Where is he? That's none of your concern anymore, Shaw. Oh, you stupid bitch! Do you realize what you've done? Yes, we all do. Shit! Shit! Maria! Wake up! What? We've got to go now! Leave everything and follow after me! Lucas, come on! Right behind you! Go! <laughs> Just keep running! Come on! 
Maria! Let's go! Mission accomplished, everyone. We'll hunt down those two tank engines later on. Now, let's get the rest of you back to your respectable scrap yards. All right, Whistler Levi, you take the Merchant Navy and the Standard Two to Barry Scrapyard. Naval, you take the Great Western Castle to Swindon. Western and I shall take the Coronation and the N2 to Doncaster first, and then to Crewe, where I'll be leaving Western to get checked over. Goyle, you take the King Arthur and those LBSC coaches back down to Eastleigh Works. And Simon, to show our apology to what happened, we're transferring you to work at Eastleigh Works. There, you shall have less stress and not worry about what's happened today. Um, uh, thanks, I guess? Well, goodbye, friends. Farewell, everyone. Just take care now. Um, where did you live? Huh? Um, at Didcot? Here, you're back home. What? What do you mean? I'm not taking you to Swindon. You deserve to live far for a little bit more. Now, run back home, quickly! Th thank you, thank you! There you go. Say hello to your new home, the two of you. Go ahead. Socialize with some of the older engines. <laughs> it's not like the two of you are going anywhere. I would smash you to pieces right where you stand! Yeah, well, you can't. Come on, Whistler. Let's leave these two to rust. <laughs> you know, this was all your fault. And you get to hear all the reasons why it was. Oh, shut up, will you? Otherwise, I'll be calling you Barry. How's that for a name, instead of a number? Hmm... Barry. Well, goodbye, Duchess. It was worth a shot. Thank you very much, Ryan. Maybe we will be able to see each other again. One day. Come on now. Be grateful I allow the two of you to say your goodbyes. I shall admit, you were a pretty good leader, Duchess. You just need more confidence in yourself. Perhaps remember that, if there is a next time. this then? Bunch of old coaches, a steam engine and his diesel shine to help you out with the shunting or whatever. I trust that is the problem. Well, no, of course not, but I don't understand. Um, hello there, I'm Ben. I'm Simon. So, um, would you mind shunting those old coaches into the scrap line, please? Well, yeah, sure, I suppose so. Oh, Sepelius, what happened? Oh, uh, well, it's quite a long story, Benjamin. Well, what first happened is we first soon entered Oxford and we found that the tracks were blocked by some trucks. When as after we crashed into one, we met up with two new engines. The names were Beryl, a castle class, and Lucas. Hmm. Small, but maybe useful. Oh 
Meryl, you're back! I didn't see you at all yesterday, and someone else had to take your coaches. Hmm? Oh, oh yes, um, th th there were some difficulties with another express train, and they needed me to take it elsewhere. You know, express duties and all that. Well, at least you made it back safely. So, um, did you by any chance get to talk to Mr. Stevens before you were called away? Huh? What? Uh, oh, yes, pulling trains, of course. He, um, I'm so sorry to tell you, Eliza, but he said no, saying that he needed you here to keep these yards organized. Oh, okay. Thanks for asking anyway. I'm sorry, Eliza, but I must keep you here where it's safe. If you knew what it was like out there. You okay, Maria? Y yes, I, I think so. I, I, I just... I, I've never been without Shaw for the last 20 years. He's always been there to protect me from the bigger engines. Oh, not to worry. I may be smaller, but I'm sure we'll get through this together. Thanks, Lucas. Come on. Why don't we start a little bit of fun and trouble? Oh, well, you know what they say. Accidents can happen. Good evening. Who might you be, little one? They call me 1347, but I personally call myself Eliza. It's mighty fine to meet you, darling. I'm City of Churro, but some of my friends call me Churro for short. 